Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is Jonathan from Howard Hospitality Group, and these are them in all their glory. These are the mini claw machines from candymachines.com. We actually ordered three. You guys saw kind of our teaser video. One we actually placed um, this morning here locally in a little, um, it's a Hispanic little mini mart and um, drink and snack location. And we think it'll do really well. It's right across the street from the middle school. So we actually ordered three. We ordered two blue ones and we ordered one red one. Um, we saw the red one at the show. We hadn't seen the blue ones in person. And honestly, I think the blue ones look even better than the red ones. But to give you guys kind of a good idea of the graphics on these things, they're pretty amazing. They look really good. Um, there you look amazing when they're all lit up. And a little bit of differences between them is that you can see the two prize doors are different. Um, and I'll get over to the graphics on the red one here in a second. But here's the side graphics for the blue one. We started putting some prizes in them so you can kind of get an idea of how much they hold. I don't think I've seen minis that hold this much product, which is kind of nice because then you don't have to um, visit your locations as much. But here's the red. So the front of the blue, and then the front of the red. You gotta put all the stickers on the cash, um, on the DBAs. They come blank, you gotta put the stickers on them. The rest of the stickers on the machine came on it, but I did get um, my stickers. I also at the top, you'll notice that the top of the blues have the green mini super crane where the, um, the red has the black mini super crane. But um, I think it's E3 bending. It's in the discord down below. These are his stickers. So he's got the 50 cent play and the instructions. And then also I put the one in the back. The alarm will sound if it's tilted. That's also from uh, E3 vending, which is in the Discord down below. You can get the link for that. This is just our sticker that we put on our machines. And um, so we have the red. The graphics look like this. They both look great, um, but this is the side of the red one. So it kind of gives you an idea. Excuse the mess when I was trying to put everything together and then when we got the okay this morning for the um, location, we kind of just threw everything in a pile and took off. So, excuse me, let me move that over. Okay, so to give you any idea, this one's almost filled up and you can see how much product it holds. So a lot of the other minis, you just kind of have a little bit of a table at the top that you can hold stuff in. This holds quite a bit more product. We actually ordered, I don't have them in here, but I don't know if there's any inside the machine, but I don't see any, but we ordered some emojis from, um, we need a product right away. So we ordered them from eBay and um, that showed up. And then we found these, you see the little Superman and um, in there, those actually came from the dollar store, from Dollar Tree, which everything's now $1.25, but we just grabbed 10 or 15 of those to throw in here. <clears throat> the other cool feature that I really like um, is that it has a little display window at the top of these that you can put your um, big prizes in if you want to. And the machine we placed today, we put some emojis and some Batmans and some other things up there that we found. But these are them. As far as how they work, um, this one does coins and dollar bills. Actually, not dollars, but it does all the way up to $100 bills. So it can take any denomination that you want. You don't have to. It gives you choices, and you can set on the top of, which actually, let me grab a key. But down here, it's kind of cool that you have, get in here. Too busy looking at the screen. So here's your DBA. And at the top of the DBA, you have your switches, and then it tells you which ones you want to switch. So if they're all switched all the way up, you can accept any bills you want. Um, you can actually turn those to however you want to and accept whatever bills you want to. Like if you only want to accept one, five, tens, and twenties, you can do that. You can set it however you want. And then you got a DBA, which is actually kind of mounted upside down on these machines. So when you pull it off, it's the opposite. You would on a normal vending machine or something like that. So um, you can see the that it comes off um, downwards instead of upwards, which is a little different. But And then down below here, which is kind of cool, is you've got an overflow for change. So um, 
you can really, really like wait a long time to um, put that in. That is your coin receiver. And um, everything's in here real quick. Everything is lockable. Um, everything's metal, which is nice. So it's actually a pretty solid metal. It's not chintzy at all. Um, you have here um, where you could um, actually close this off and just have a little bit of change. So you take this little thing right here and um, this is kind of cool. So what you do is, is you basically lift this little, hold on a second. I guess it depends on how, you, how often you're gonna fill it, but you take this little metal thing right there and you pop it off and you stick it down on the thing. And then this little part right here will fill up with change. Um, once that's full, then it's full. Or right now, the way we, <clears throat> we have our setup is that the change goes down into the bottom. So it goes into that big trough that's there and you can choose whichever way you want. So if you're not getting a lot of change, um, you can just have this be your change um, receiver and it would just all go into here. Or you can have it like this where it's tilted. That's how it came. And you can have it go down into the big trough. So I guess it's totally up to you. What's nice about this and the reason they do this from what I can gather is that this yellow key is actually the same key that opens up the top. So if you don't want somebody on your route getting into the money, then you put it like this and then the money goes down into the bottom, which you need a blue key to open. So if you wanted to um, have it where only your route drivers will go and have blue keys or whoever you want to only have um, or not your route drivers to not have blue keys and only you have blue keys so you can unlock and get money out, then you would keep your setup like this. That's our dog, Dotsy. Hi, Dotsy. Um, otherwise, you can leave it yellow like this and um, they can and close it off and then they can collect it when they go on the route. So it's kind of whichever way you want. So it's just kind of a cool feature is that they allow you to do that. You can um, have it set up so they cannot touch the money at all and only you can and the yellow key will just get them into the top they'll get into the drawer but there's nothing in it because it goes down into the big trough so it's kind of nice because it gives you that option which um i didn't even really think about until i started playing around with it and then i was like oh that makes sense so that's what that's for so you can have this be your primary change drawer or you can have it go into the big trough down below it's totally up to you um, we have ours going down there because I didn't think about it before we set it. And once I started playing with it a little bit more, then I was like, oh, that's why that's like that. So anyways, so there's your bottom with your money. And um, let's see what I do. I don't know. I grab a blue key. Oh, yeah, it's in there. So, <clears throat> so that's that. In here, which is another really cool feature, is that it has, so you go into here, and this is where your controls are. This is also where you set the type of token that you want it to have. And the sound on this is actually about, I don't know, 20 times louder than this when it shows up. We actually turned down the volume on these quite a bit. But what's really neat is in here is your controller. So you've got a controller that you can set up um, all your inner workings on the screen, which I can do another video on that if you guys wanna see that, on how to set everything up. So the way we set ours up is, um, there's a winner, one and four. So that's the ratio. It's a one and four win. Um, you'll see that the change goes down into here and goes down this little trough and then into either down here or down into the big one, which we have it going down into our big one. But um, totally up to you. So probably what we're gonna end up doing is probably just switch to this drawer and just bring, um, well, we'll need both keys anyways to get the cash out. But anyways, it'd probably be easier than trying to pull out that big trough every single time but like if you're the owner and you don't want them touching your money then um you can definitely set up like that so you've got all your a really nice controller set up in there that you can adjust all your stuff with um and control everything with and so yeah the only thing that we're trying to figure out now is um the location that we got today is kind of nice and we'll have a video of that but we are trying to figure out the best way to um, anchor these things down. I actually came up with an idea today. I have a buddy that welds and in the bottom of these troughs or in the bottom of these machines um, is bolts, holes. So what I'm thinking is, is that he could take 
like if we had like a kind of it wouldn't go in the back but it'd be like a half circle here of a metal really thin metal plate and then mounted on the top of that or welded to the top of that would be a really heavy weight with four bolts sticking up that we can actually um, or even just two bolts that'll come through here and then we can screw it down onto it so you got a really heavy weight mounted onto a half circle metal i have to draw a picture it's kind of hard to explain but that would also give us stability so it wouldn't rock and stuff and it would be flat in the back so then that way you can push it up against the wall but it would be a half circle really heavy weight on the top with bolts um uh, welded to the top that you could actually screw this down onto and i think that's what i'm gonna have him make for these and then wherever we go somewhere then it's it's not gonna move it won't go anywhere with a huge weight and then also um the screws but uh, if i do have make them and powder coat it then i'll um i'll let you guys see we can even powder coat it white um or black either way but i want to do a real quick video just to give you guys a kind of a look at these and um and you know with the stickers on it and everything me through vending and, and all the stuff they look phenomenal and i mean the amount of product they hold um i've seen a lot of the other mini machines and they're great um i was just very impressed with these so we got these from canyonmachines.com and um, i'm going to do a little more in-depth review once i learn a little bit more about these but i just got them and we got our first location really quick so we wanted to go out and place it but um anyways let me get back so you can see one last picture of it so so here's one last look for you guys you can kind of see the full design of it um again there's your product load well that one's not all the way full i still got a half a bag of stuff over here that goes in that one but this is more closer to full it still has a little bit more to go in it too but they hold quite a bit and you can actually adjust the height of these um plastic things so you can adjust the height if you can see right in there um if i can zoom in or not there it goes and you can adjust the height of how high those are which is really nice so anyways just a real quick video just to give you guys an idea of what they look like. Very impressed. Really, really nice. Um, they've given it, you know, a lot of thought. They, um, they, they show real well. The little window at the top is in kind of a really nice feature. The graphics look great. Um, as soon as we put it in, we had two kids run up and, and go use it. So I think it's going to be really popular. But anyways, um, please comment down below on stuff you guys would like to see or questions you may have and I can answer those for you. And as I learn more, um, especially on the displays, which you, I didn't even show those, but um, you have full menus, you can adjust everything, but that's what the displays look like. And once I get into the menus and play around with things a little bit more, then I can let you know. I did go in, candymachines.com has a YouTube and they have um, some videos on how to set up like the one to four ratio and, um, how many coins and stuff so i did do those two things real quick just to get it out the door but i'm gonna play around with it a little bit more so anyways thanks for watching guys talk to you later bye